the band sing bands and the Papa Day surprise by Simon Jan Bernstein. Some papa bears are embarrassed by sentiment and pretend not to want a father's free present. Papa Bear is a bear of many opinions. He has opinions about all sorts of things. He has an opinion about all about the best ways to fell trees, about the best ways to fell trees. He has an opinion about protecting the weather. The best way to protect weather is by observing the length of the woolly bear caterpillar coat. He has an opinion about the best kind of honey. No question about it. Wild wild honey is the best. And though his opinion, Mother Day is a fine and proper holiday. And worthy tribute on the instruction of motherhood. He didn't think much of Father's Day. Let's just Father's Day this year. It's just a scheme to get folks down the mall to buy a lot of gifts. Not to mention a bunch of icky sticky Father's Day cards. That's fine with us, said Mama. It's a busy time for me. The pilfering bee is coming up. And with the school year ending, the cubs are going to be pretty busy too. Then it's agreed, said Papa. We are not going to make a fuss about Father's Day. A few days later, Papa was fixing a pretty French set. Mama was working on a tulip bed and baby honey was there was playing on the grass above their head a pair of robins was hard working hard at work about at work building wallets the first about father's day is a lot of nonsense said papa look at that daddy robin helping Mama Robin build the next. He doesn't need to have a fuss over him. He's happy to do his job building the nest, sitting on eggs. When the time comes to digging up worms, when the chicks hatch, that Daddy Robin doesn't need a special day, and neither do I. Yes, dear, said Mama. Papa was about to continue when he heard a noise in the shop. Hey, there's somebody rooting around in my shop. It's those pesky raccoons again. I, but it wasn't raccoons. It was brother and sister. What are you two up to? Asked Papa. Uh, we are just getting some stuff out for a school project, said brother. Uh, that's right, said sister. A school project. Brother was holding a piece of the special paper that Papa had used for his furniture designs. Sister was holding a roll of the paper. Papa put down when he was painting. Okay said Papa. Just so it's nothing to do with Father's Day. Is that clear? Very clear, said the cubs.
but as far as the day drew closer, it was very much in the air and on and on the air as well on radio. And now, with Father's Day approaching, a word of tribute to all you dads out there on television, at the mall, and just everywhere else. Just the drip, drip of water can wear away a solid rock. The constant talk about Father's Day began to wear away Papa's opinion about Father's Day. A couple of days before Father's Day, Mama and Papa were in the living room. Mama was putting the finishing tattoo on a quilt. You know, said Papa, I think maybe I am being a little selfish about Father's Day. It's a lot of nonsense, of course, but cups are cups. And if they want to make a little, a little fuss about it, sorry, dear, said Mama. I was counting stitches, and I didn't hear a word you were saying. Then the phone rang, and Mama picked it up. Yes, she said. This is she. Yes, Mrs. Bloom. It's all arranged. See you there. Goodbye. What was that about? Asked Papa. Uh, some quilting business. Said Mama. By the way, said Papa. Where are the cubs? They are off at Cousin Fred's working on a big scout project. Said, said Mama. Oh, said Papa. I thought they were working on a big school project. Uh, that's right, said Mama. A big school project and scout project. Papa would have never admitted it, but he was beginning to hope that Mama and the cubs wouldn't worry about his opinion regarding Father's Day. He even looked in the jars and closets for hidden presents, but they weren't any. Now it was the day before Father's Day. Papa was on his Way to the shop and noticed Daddy Robin. Mama Robin had laid egg, the eggs and Daddy Robin was sitting on them. Mr. Robin said, Papa, I think Mama and the cubs are up to something and I think I know what it is. It's Father's Day. They are going to surprise me. Mr. Robin didn't say anything. He just sat there. Papa knew that what Mama and the cubs were doing. They were pretending to sleep Father's Day. Well, two could play that game tomorrow morning. When he woke up to breakfast in bed, lots of lots of presents and cards on Father's Day. He would pretend to be surprised. But the next morning, he didn't have to pretend. He really was bright. There was no breakfast in bed. There were no gifts and cards. But wait a minute. What was the delicious smell coming from? Kitchen. It was his favorite food. French fried hummus. There was going to be Father's Day breakfast. It wasn't going to be in bed. But the French fried honeycomb wasn't for him at all. Mama explained that the gift for the new family down the road. Papa went out and sat on the front steps and the daddy Robin flew 
by he was carrying a worm of his newly hatched chicks. Happy Father's Day, said Mr. Robin. Nay, hey, Mr. Robin, said Papa, for all the good. For all the good it's going to do us. At that moment, Mama and the cubs came down the front steps. Where are you going? asked Papa. What about breakfast? We are going for a brunch at the Grismo Grizzly. Huh? said Papa. The Grismo Grizzly, please, said the cubs as the, they piled into the car. When they arrived, the folks were lined up at the entrance. Look, said Papa, there's a sign over that door where it says, Welcome, Dads. So there is, said Mama with a big grin. There was a, a bigger sign inside. Welcome to the Papa's Day Surprise. It was painted with the roll, with the paper, roll of paper the cups had gotten for their school project. And then the stage with a long table. Go ahead! Other papas were on the stage with him. Lizzie Bluin's papa, cousin Fred's papa, even two tall's papa. Other papas filled the seats and the food. All papas fail. French fried honeycomb, honey curd salam, salmon, honey squash. Someone began to speak. It was Mayor Honeypot. And now we shall hear from those who put wonderful surprise together. Out first speakers will be brother and sister bear brother and sister bear brother and sister cleared their throats and read a poem. On the special paper they are taken from Papa's shop. To the rest, Papa, to the best Papa Bear in the whole wide world, you are big and strong and the true. And true and no matter what. What we do, we can depend on you. You cheer us when we you cheer us on when we are glad. You cheer us when we are sad. You you always are there for us to help, advice and care for us. Happy Father's Day. Papa looked over at his attitudes, but he could hardly but he could hardly see. His eyes were misty and he had he 
in lump, lump his throat as a big caterpillar. After brother and sister read the, their poem, poem, it was Lizzie Bruin's turn to say something of her dad. After Lizzie came, cousin said, as the cubs read their tributes, Papa thought about all the wonderful moments he had shared with his family. Well, they weren't always wonderful, but certainly were moments. The guests had headed for their homes. Cubs, said Papa. He drove down the hill to their tree house room. I want to thank you for the lovely poem. Mama helped with it. Mama helped with it, said brother. Also, said Papa. I want to thank you for the Papa's Day surprise. It was a wonderful gift and that sister was a gift to all you, Papa. That, that said sister, was a gift to all the Papa. And, and we, Mama, we and Mama have a special gift just for you. Just for me, said Papa. He pulled a stop at the tree house. He hurried the, in the front steps. And though in the front door into the living room, and he saw what he was waiting for him. What was waiting for him? He could hardly believe his eyes. A bear cut. Go, he cried. Just what I wanted. It was a special chair that you could adjust up, up and down. It was the perfect chair for Papa. Baby Honey began to cry. She was hungry. It was also the perfect chair to place. The place to feed baby honey. Mama Mama and the cubs also watch digs with the big smile. As Papa sat with the new bear calendar and give baby honey her bottle. The end. You could review other videos. I'm coming in a minute. So, bye bye and please subscribe. I'll be there in a minute.